we're Sunny and Luna, and this is our van Stella. After coronavirus hit and we decided to live out my lifelong dream, we spent three months building her out and we've been living in her full time ever since. This is the official van tour. Let's go check her out. Stella's a Ram ProMaster 2500 model, 159 wheelbase, high roof with front wheel drive. It cost about $25,000 with 25,000 miles. We also got an extended warranty and we're super happy with her. Why don't we go check out the cab? But first, don't forget to click subscribe and follow along on Instagram to keep up with our adventures. All right, come on in. The main features of the cab are a backup camera and of course the Bluetooth system that we listen to all of our jams during long drives. I put this mirror up here that I use to do my makeup. It lights up at night when it's dark. I store my makeup bag just down here. And we like to have our National Parks Pass candy, so we keep that up here along with all of our cords. We clearly have a ton of electronics. And moving down below, we keep our sunglasses here and of course, all of our COVID masks. We have a lot of them. <laughs> and we also have our multi-weight kettlebell down here. It's easy to grab when we wanna go and work out. And the last and most important feature of the cab are our swivel seats. When coming up with the design for this space, we wanted everything to be multifunctional. So we installed swivels on both chairs so we could both sit here at one time. Along with it being a lounge area, it's also Sunny's work area. So you'll find him here Monday through Friday, nine to five. We were very thoughtful about where we placed the outlets and USB plugs throughout the van, one of them being here along with our carbon monoxide and smoke detector because we do run the stove and oven off of propane. Since living in the van, I found a need to have a comfortable workspace. So my mom made this beautiful wooden resin tabletop. I've been using it as a lap desk and when our part comes in the mail, we will be installing a table mount to it right over here. So really excited about that because then we can both work comfortably in this upper area together at the same time. And one thing I'd like to point out is what we like to call our shoe step. This is where we store all of our shoes. This side's mine, this side's Sunny's. We each have five pairs. And I have a bad knee, so we did get this step we like to use when getting at, in and out of the van and it conveniently fits perfectly right up here by the entrance. And Sunny also installed this handle for me. And the last thing I'd like to point out in the cab area is this curtain track. It's nice to just have curtains for instant privacy. For example, if we're going to the grocery store and just wanna close it up while we run in and grab our stuff, it's been pretty great. Moving on from the cab, when you enter the van, our light switches are located right here, being on dimmers. We have lights that go down the middle of the van on the ceiling as well as under our upper cabinetry, and we have lights underneath the van so we can see better at night. We're really happy we installed those. And our van is a fully off-grid setup, but we're gonna do a separate electrical video about that so we can go over that in great detail for you. When you enter the van, you step into our kitchen. We used maple for our countertops. We were really lucky we got one big slab of maple for $100, cut, sealed it to our liking, and it was really important to us to have windows throughout the van because we love natural lighting. It really opens up the space. So we love that you can just walk in and immediately enjoy the view through this big kitchen window. And it's also nice to have a view when doing the dishes. For storage, we did decide to go with pre-made cabinetry from Lowe's. Here in our top drawer, we keep all of our utensils along with a few other random things we need to easily access like this yo-yo because I am engaged to a nationally ranked yo-yoer. Moving on to our second drawer. This is where we keep all of our bowls, plates, and cups. We have four plates, four bowls, four cups, and a mason jar for, to make overnight oats or put flowers in, stuff like that. And we do keep everything on these rubber mats to keep everything from sliding around. And down below in our third and final drawer is what we like to call our everything drawer. So you will find anything from holiday decor to movie projector to board games, headlamps, and much more. One thing I'd like to point out are all the magnets that we installed on all of our cabinets and drawers to keep everything closed when the vehicle's in motion. 
When we installed the sink, we turned this into a pop-out drawer so we keep our sponges in here. And down below, we have a huge space. So we installed a trash and recycling bin on rollers. We actually love the size of this because we can go weeks without having to worry about finding a trash can. And we keep our towels down here, cleaning supplies, and of course, the most important thing to have when living in a van, a broom. Above the sink is where we keep our food. I got these bins to keep everything organized and to make access to food easier. What you'll notice is we haven't put our upper cabinet hinges on. That's something we're still working on. And we also got these hooks that we like to hang our mugs on as well as our beloved fruit bag. We are obsessed with this thing. Now, when it came to the design of the van, Sunny didn't have too many requests, but one of them was to have a bookshelf. So we made this little bookshelf and added a bungee so that the books wouldn't fall off while we're driving. So this is our 17 by 17 by 10 inch deep sink. We did a lot of research as to what other van lifers wish they had done differently in their van. And we heard that having a deeper sink is critical if you do a lot of cooking. So we have been so happy that we have this deep sink and we also love the undermount look. And for the appliances and finishes, I really wanted a contemporary and clean look. So we ended up going with this matte black sink faucet. We like it because it can swivel from side to side and pulls up and down as well as has a pause on off button to control water usage. And the other thing we have over here is our cute little word board, plant and our hand soap. And of course, everything is stuck with Velcro to secure while driving. Now above the cab, the Ram ProMaster comes with a large storage area. We keep a lot of random things up here. We have our bug screen, movie projector screen, first aid kit, and of course, a Frisbee. Babe, catch. So on this side of the kitchen, we decided to extend the countertops and we went with a three burner stove. We have a big oven and that's all hooked up to a propane tank right up under here and it's six gallons and it should get us through about two weeks. And beneath our oven, we went with a pre-made drawer from Home Depot. It's got all of our cookware, things like pots, pans, glassware, and anything we need while we're in the oven. And between the oven and the fridge, we've got our spice rack, which has got things like utensils for cooking, our wine, protein powder, spices, teas, avocado oil, of course, and last but not least, our poop shovel, which we'll talk about in much more detail later. And then here we have our fridge. It's a Magic Chef mini fridge from Home Depot. It stores food for about a week. It's pretty energy efficient as well. But my favorite feature is actually the freezer because it's got enough room to store pretty much unlimited ice cream for while I'm living on the road. And then next up, we have our upper cabinets. Here we store our healthy snacks in this bin. We have mostly toiletries over here. We have our solar charge controller, our inverter on off, and then a Bluetooth so I can check our solar when we're on the road for my phone. And then last but not least is the motion activated light, which we love because they only come on when it's dark and they're super easy to install. And you can actually check them out in the link below. Next up, let's go check out the bathroom. Welcome to our bathroom. We've got a nice big shower pan down here. We have our TP as well, which is removable if we're showering. And then of course the portable toilet, which we have a rule number one only. It's been super convenient. We can dump it at any restroom really, which has been great. And we remove it when we shower and that's pretty easy and we've loved it so far. Next, we have the tile. We have glass tile and silicon grout. It adds a lot of weight and that's a potential negative, but we've loved it so far. And then we have these black features. The shower head's great because it's got an on off switch, which saves water. There's actually hot water as well. And in the back, we'll show you the hot water heater later. And then next up, we've got our shampoo, our hair conditioner and our bath gels all along the wall. And of course our toothbrush holder, which is so convenient. We love it. You can find a link below in our van life essentials guide to learn more about that. And we also have, of course, this retractable Nautilus shower door super convenient we love it and then the hooks for our towels and last but not least is the max air fan for keeping us cool when we're asleep or working it's great now let's move on to one of my favorite parts of the van and that is the bedroom Our walls are made out of shiplap and underneath is sheet.
cheap swole as our main source of insulation, which we've been really happy with. Our mattress is a queen size and width. We did cut it a little bit shorter so that we could sleep sideways, and it's very comfortable. It's a seven inch thick memory foam mattress. Up here is where you'll find our closets. So my closet's up here and Sunny's closet's up here. We store all of our clothes in these compact cubes to optimize storage. His is a little bit shorter than mine, if you'll notice, just so that he has more headroom when he's sitting upright. And so what we did was we extended his closet by building this shelf and putting a basket with his clothes in. Other things we love in our bedroom is this hanging macrame. We store all of our eye masks, earplugs, and USB cords in here, and it has been something we use daily, so we're really happy we purchased it. There are two places to charge your phones, one on each side of the bed, as well as reading lights with built-in light switches. Over here, you'll find our LED light switch controller. We are so happy we installed colored LED lights. We have a strip in the front as well as one in the back. We also installed this curtain track. We do have blackout magnetic shades that stick directly onto the windows, but we did decide to install curtains in the back just to make the space feel more homey and cozy. When designing a space that is so small, you have to think about multifunctionality. And because of our lifestyle and needs, we decided to design the bed that breaks down into the dinette bench system. And we're really happy we did that. And we'll show you how we do that in just a moment. The last and most important feature of our bedroom that I'd like to show you is the... Indoor outdoor living. To start the conversion process, we take off our bedding and put it in front of the cab. Then we move the two middle cushions to become backrests. We install a table mount to the back of the table and one on the back bench. Then connect the mounts and we're all set. This is our beautiful handmade pine table. It swivels so it's easy to get in and out and doesn't interfere with leg room. It was really important to us to have a space where we could have family or friends over for dinner or board games and we can comfortably seat five here. Now, if you'll notice down below, we did raise the flooring so that our legs would rest comfortably. And in this empty space, we turned it into our laundry drawer. Now, let's show you what's underneath these benches. Sunny, take it away. Under this bench is where we keep all of our electric equipment. So it's got our 3000 watt inverter, which is perfect. It'll power things like hot water heaters, hair dryers, you name it, we can power it. Next to the inverter, we have our three 100 amp lithium batteries from Renogy as well. And that's what gets us through any cloudy days because this is all powered by four 100 watt panels, which we actually have on the roof, powering the entire system. We love it. And then over on this side is where we have our water system. This is a 33 gallon water tank and that is actually used through a pump on the far right, which we can turn on and off. And that water pump powers everything in the house. And then the rest of the water system is actually in the back. So why don't we go check the rest of it out in the back? Let's check out what we've got in the back in terms of storage. So on the far right, we've got a bunch of dress up clothes for Luna and that's pretty much it. In the middle, we have a drill, hammock, portable air conditioner, and what appears to be a giant disco ball. How fun, let's see Luna's. And then last but not least, we've got our water system on the far left and you can see we've got our water inlet, which we hook up to a hose for filling up. We have our water heater back here, which is electric and four gallons. And then we have a hose and a collapsible bucket. So we use the collapsible bucket when we're on the road and we need a gray water tank. Otherwise, we use eco-friendly and biodegradable soaps so we minimize our environmental impact. That's it for the storage back here. And last but not least, we have one outdoor feature to show you that we could not live without, and that is our slide out table. We hope you enjoyed touring our brand new tiny home on wheels. All products used are on our website linked below. And if you're thinking about building your own van, be sure to check back on our website soon because we'll be launching our very own van layout guide. That's it from us today. Thank you so much for being a part of our tiny living journey. Until next time.